fumbled and uh, hello good evening and welcome to neelam saxena page and uh, today i am here meera bansali uh, with my live talk show and uh, art connect and today with me is uh, dr purnima kulkarni trivedi the face who has been known to everybody <laughs> on the neelam saxena page yes yes you are a very known face di so uh, everybody <laughs> knows lekin uh, she has always been on the like you know she always puts others on the hot seat today she is on the hot seat so welcome mm-hmm. purnima di on the neelam saxena page thanks a lot thanks a lot meera let me congratulate you for your first show it's a great initiative and i absolutely loved the title of the show art connect lovely yes. title and it's so wonderful to be interviewed because as you said you know today i'm on the hot seat usually you know i'm, <laughs> I'm interviewing people left right and center and grilling them so today i'll be grilled <laughs> yes i am going to like uh, make the most of it uh, you know just to make you uncomfortable on the hot seat absolutely so- <laughs> please do that <laughs> uh, before uh, we begin the show uh, please introduce yourself because jo uh, the art i think the you the art that uh, maybe i would connect with the art in a different way you as a artist would connect in a different way to jo aapka okay. art hai wo aap apne khud apne lafzon mein bayan karenge to the audience will understand it more better because you have that passion and the zeal to you know uh, introduce that art to us so please introduce yourself today okay thank you thank you for introducing me as an artist by the way mira so uh, i call myself Uh, a language facilitator i am an english language fel- facilitator so teaching is an art i teach public speaking at discourses by the way let me tell the viewers that i run an institute called discourses it's a center for english language literature and cultural studies and the motto of discourses is i teach train and transform so uh, just look at these words just mark these words teaching training and transforming people is an art yes so teaching is an art public speaking is an art and creative writing is also an art and we will be talking about teaching public speaking and creative writing as art on you know today's show Yes. um after working in various colleges for about you know uh, 13 to 14 years i started my own institute because you know you need a lot of experience unless you uh, teach in a, unless you're associated with a renowned institute or a renowned organization people don't take you seriously though there are many startups but it's always good to have some experience as i said so i uh, hold net and set national eligibility test for lectureship and state eligibility test for lectureship so i uh, cleared these competitive exams and in those days you know in 2003 2004 there was negative marking it was not easy to clear these exams so only after clearing net and set you know you could uh, try apply for a job in a college Yeah. and uh, that's what i did gained experience uh, put in my papers i resigned from the institute to pursue my dreams in order to be an artist <laughs> yes you are an artist because aapne said uh, teaching is an art and i'm very glad that you are even a motivation speaker because you have uh, personally motivated me and today here i am in front of everybody oh my god oh my god <laughs> 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 I've put you on the hot seat. It feels uh, so nice, you know, to put my mentor. It feels hot. <laughs> yeah, it feels hot. <laughs> okay. So uh, let uh, I just want to ask you that what was the motivation? Like, uh, what inspired you to take up uh, English as a you know? Pa- I mean, I can see the passion in your voice when you talk about English and English literature and everything. So, what motivated you? What inspired you? to take uh, you know take up english literature as an art i mean the study of english literature itself like what motivated you correct it's a very interesting question uh, meera and uh, i am motivated to answer this question by the way <laughs> so my mother 
uh, Miss Rani Trivedi, you know her very well. You yes. met her, you know, multiple times. She worked as the principal of JN Tata School. Her uh, school was affiliated to the House of Tatas. So it was a Parsi institution and she used to teach English and history. So people tell me, Purnima, you must have learned English in your mother's womb. But it's not that easy because she didn't put me in that school. She put me in Saraswati Vidyalaya. She didn't put me in a convent school or, you know, JN Tata school. She put me in a school which was uh, into spiritual illumination, spiritual emancipation. So I did my schooling from Saraswati Vidyalaya. Um, next, she was an English teacher, but she would say, Purnima, you should teach English at a higher level. She used to teach at the school level. She wanted me to take up quality initiatives in higher education. So she said a teacher's daughter should not be a teacher. She, she should be a professor. She should be an author. So she had, you know, she was she dreamt high, let me put it this way. And then I was blessed to have some wonderful teachers. I had this uh, amazing teacher from De Delhi University called Mrs. Rashmi Tikku, Dr. Rashmi Tikku. Uh, then I had Dr. Shernawaz Buhariwala, a Parsi lady, very, very well read and erudite scholar. And she had an undisputed command over the language. So what I did was I observed my teacher, you know, Dr. Buhariwala, when she would teach me at the postgraduate level, I would observe her. And that set a benchmark for me that if I teach in a college, you know, I have to reach these standards. I need to be someone like her. So she was my sculptor, my motivator, my destiny shaper and my torch bearer. She was she's. It's such an inspiration, a wonderful person. And she accompanied me to Hyderabad, you know, English and Foreign Languages University. In those days, we had, uh, you know, scholars uh, at residence. So we personally stayed, you know, she took me, she selected me for this. And uh, she told me that if you want to be a professor, if you want to get into teaching, you must read a lot. You must read copiously. You must read voraciously. So a teacher, because students are smart, they're likely to ask you any questions. So you should be able to answer. Um, so because of her, I got into uh, the habit of, you know, reading a lot. I mean, if four plays by Shakespeare were prescribed in, you know, college, she would compel me to read 25 more. You know, she was that kind of a person. So um, I became a voracious reader. And then uh, reading, obviously, once you study literature of, you know, that stature, you automatically acquire, you know, that command over the language as well. Yes. So I was very sure that uh, I knew that I was not going to teach English language alone. I wanted to teach literature because, as I said, teaching literature is, you know, great art. Language teachers aapko bohat milenge, Meera. My viewers ko bhi bata du, language teachers gali gali mein aapko spoken English ka class milega. Aur ye spoken English jo hai, ye term itna badnaam ho chuka hai market mein, kyunki log spoken English class jaakar bhi English bol nahi paate. So I keep telling them the best way to learn language is through literature. So she inspired me. And then obviously, Meera, we studied, you know, poets like John Keats and P.B. Shelley. I mean, we fell in love with literature. And when I say we, there were many other students in my class who, you know, fell head over heels in love with. And we were studying romance. Isse zyada exciting baat kya ho sakti hai ki aapke aapke padhai mein bhi romance hai. Aapke padhai mein bhi romance hai. Because I remember taking my, I mean, I remember same, you know, when I was studying my English literature, the same thing happened. Uh, I really fell in love with uh, Wordsworth and William Shakespeare, yes. his works and uh, Milton and everything. And, uh, you know, it, they were just inspirational. So I can connect with the that part, how inspiring they can be. So, uh, yes. Purnima Di, uh, we have Sunil Joshi Ji, 
मैत्री जी है हमारे साथ रानी मम्मा रानी मा वेलकम नीलम जी हैज ऑल्सो कनेक्टेड सो हाय नीलम जी थैंक यू फॉर कनेक्टिंग वी हैव बनवारी जी ऑल्सो हु हैज कनेक्टेड and so welcome to all our viewers here we are in talk with dr uh, purnima kulkarni trivedi who is uh, an inspiration in herself and um, ah <laughs> neelam is complimenting you and uh, that distracted me <laughs> neelam uh-huh. is complimenting your hair purnima ji <laughs> ah <laughs> really <laughs> because i cannot see any of the comments you know you can so just yeah. let me know what's happening <laughs> <laughs> yes definitely uh-huh. i will do that and post the, uh, the video i guess you can even uh, comment back later on yes sure sure uh, i will i will certainly yeah. do that so uh, punivadi uh, we talked about your inspiration and everything but uh, i would like to know that uh, once the art has been learned i mean obviously the art is so, this art itself that uh, literature english literature itself is a very huge um, you can say a sack not even a sack i would say a huge gallon it's of knowledge it's a treasure house it's a yeah, gold mine yeah. gold mine i mean it's impossible to you know uh, collect all that knowledge right so how can still one pursue it like what are the ways through which a person can you know follow on your footsteps in short usko aap kya right. karna to kya karna chahiye hame <laughs> मैं तो पहले ये बात आपसे कहूंगी लेट मी टेल द व्यूअर्स किसी के जैसा मत बनिए आपको ओरिजिनल बनना है आप बिल्कुल वो एक मूवी आई थी पता नहीं मैं माधुरी दीक्षित बनना चाहती हूँ माधुरी दीक्षित क्यों बनना चाहती हूँ जो माधुरी दीक्षित को जो बनना था वो तो बन चुकी आपको ड्युप्लीकेट क्यों बनना है सो सबसे पहले मैं ये बोलूंगी कि आप अपनी ओरिजिनैलिटी ना खोए वन शुड नॉट यू नो लूज वन ओरिजिनैलिटी इट्स गुड टू हैव रोल मॉडल्स इट्स आइडोल एट्री एंड दिस आइडोल वर्शिप इज ऑल्सो फाइन बट अल्टीमेटली ट्राई टू कार्व अ नीश फॉर योर Don't don't imitate anyone. Don't copy anyone. copy ताज महल की भी रिप्लिका आपको औरंगाबाद में बीवी का मकबरा करके है ताज महल की भी रिप्लिका आपको मिलेगी लेकिन ताज ने जो स्टेटस पाया है इट इज वन ऑफ द वंडर्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा वो स्टेटस वो कोई और मॉन्यूमेंट को नहीं मिल सकता so all ensure that you carve a niche for yourself you make a mark for yourself by the way ye bolne ke chakkar mein i forgot what your question was meera <laughs> the question was ki hmm. educational qualifications would i mean uh, basically what uh, educational qualifications would a person require kya usko karna padega you know wo level tak aane ke liye because okay. wo bhi to zaruri hai na Uh, to you you know know find your own niche but kuch educational qualifications basics hote hain. so wo kya, uh, follow karne hai hamare viewers ko you know, inspiring writers jo hai, ya inspiring uh, literature ke followers hai, jo abhi naye naye hai, un field mein. to unko what would you suggest them ki wo kya karna chahiye unko uh, you know qualification wise taki wo aage badh sake is field mein see um i know a lot of authors i know a lot of creative writers who have not studied english literature as such or who don't uh, you know who are not qualified to you know like take up literature as a profession some of them uh, you know just studied from convent educated schools and acquired a, a decent command over the language all right and they became uh, you know they just carved a niche for themselves as uh, you know authors but as i said if you want to take up english literature as your profession in the sense if you want to teach literature in schools yeah. in colleges you must you know take up english honors in your graduation okay. then take up post graduation kyunki graduation karke kuch nahi hota hai you need to have a post graduate degree and okay. you need to study in such a way that you are proud to call yourself a master of the subject because yes. i i know a lot of people who hold you know post graduate degrees in you know english and english literature but you know their concepts are not clear and they fumble with their english you know their uh, uh, command is not up to the mark so you must ensure that you are a master of the subject when you take up the degree at least and then you know we have something called mphil i did my mphil after post graduation so this is like an intermediate degree between post graduation and phd 
आजकल एक ट्रेंड ऐसा चल रहा है इमीडिएटली आफ्टर पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन लोग पीएचडी के लिए रजिस्टर कर लेते हैं बट द थिंग इज दैट आप कितना पढ़े हैं यू नो यू नीड टू एस आई सेड द एक्चुअल वर्ड इज वोरेशियस यू नीड टू बी अ वोल्यूमिनस रीडर यू नीड टू बी अ वोरेशियस रीडर यू नीड टू collect data even data collection takes a very long time if you want to be a research scholar research yeah. is also an art we are talking about art today research is also an art it's not you know everyone's cup of tea because yeah. ultimately finding the topic and then collecting data primary sources secondary sources you know lot of research a lot of reading is involved सो ये सब करने के लिए एम फिल करना जरूरी है वो पीरियड ये दैट पीरियड कैन बी यूटिलाइज फॉर योर रीडिंग एंड रिगरस रिसर्च फॉर पी एच डी एंड देन आफ्टर एम फिल एम फिल इज फॉर टू टू थ्री ईयर्स यू कैन कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन योर एम फिल डिग्री बिकॉज देर इज अ डेजिटेशन दैट यू सबमिट इवन यू नो बिफोर गेटिंग एन एम फिल डिग्री देर इज अ डेजिटेशन दर इज अ मिनी थीसिस दैट यू राइट एंड दैट एक्चुअली प्रिपेयर यू फॉर इट प्रिपेयर a ground for you know phd and then phd ka aisa hai log mujhe puchte hai madam phd kitne saal mein hoti hai yes phd ka aisa hai ek saal mein ho sakti hai do saal mein ho sakti hai 10 saal mein ho sakti hai it all depends on ki itne saal padhai to aur aage phd ko kitne saal lagne hai एग्जैक्टली तो ये जो है ये रिसर्च स्कॉलर के ऊपर डिपेंड करता है बिकॉज द यूनिवर्सिटी गिव्स यू अ पीरियड ऑफ फाइव इयर्स एंड इन केस यू डोंट कंप्लीट आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स यू नो यू जस्ट री रजिस्टर सो यू नीड टू अप्लाई अगेन इट इज लाइक दैट सो आई पर्सन सो इट इज लाइक जितना एम बी बी एस का स्टूडेंट पढ़ता है उतना ही पी एच डी वाले डॉक्टर ऑफ फिलोसफी को भी उतनी ही पढ़ाई करनी पड़ती है बिकॉज वेन यू कॉल योर सेल्फ डॉक्टर ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट आपके नाम के आगे भी डॉक्टर है सो इट्स नॉट द मेडिकल डॉक्टर बट ये सेम अमाउंट ऑफ इट्स डॉक्टर ऑफ फिलोसफी ट्रेनिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर यू नो गेटिंग दिस doctor degree that you have though it is not a medical degree but it is equivalent i would say uh, so yes it's like an and, uh, and mira sorry to interrupt you here yeah. i must i will also share uh, doctors of medicine treat you know patients but we transform lives you know we deal with humanity yeah. we study character so yeah. you know when we study you know drama philosophy you're studying life which is yeah. you know very very important i feel yeah. ki patient ko treat karna zaruri hai lekin ye zindagi ko samajhna character analysis bhi utna zaruri hai so i, I feel, feel that, uh, doctor shayad ek patient at a time treat karta hai whereas as a educator uh, we uh, you treat uh, maybe the whole, the society as a whole because uh, you are studying mm-hmm. about the society as a whole when you study literature because it includes everything you know the the era in which it was written the mindset of the people everything uh, is inclusive in that literature and uh, when you are uh, uh, you are teaching or you are writing about your subject you are trying to change the society as a whole so i guess that is why that uh, 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 a proverb came that pen is mightier than the sword sword so, <laughs> yes <laughs> correct <laughs> so where it comes from because you as a uh, with, you know with your degree with your art you are changing the society not one at a time but by the bulk uh, you know the whole uh, society of it so here we have more viewers who have joined us anubhaya is there so hello anubhaya uh, we have chanchal hi Sarai. yes we have satbir chada ji yes hello ma'am oh my god yes <laughs> and she has commented well said purnima so i guess um, you have been doing most of the talking because that is what the show is about i want you as an artist to talk about your art and not me so uh, and sadbir ji has said very well educated dear purnima trivedi kulkarni bless you and love you 
So this is ah, love you to Sadhvi Ranti. Love you too. She's such a marvelous person. You know, we had uh, our launch in uh, December, and she was planning to come all the way from Delhi. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, yeah, Lovely. because she has a house in Mumbai, so she was planning to see us. But unfortunately, she couldn't make it. But uh, I hope we meet soon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have Ashish ji. So hello, Ashish ji. We have Pragya. Hi, also. Ashish. <laughs> Hello, Pragya. Oh my God! All my friends have joined. Hi, Anubhaya, everyone. <laughs> so sweet of them. Yes. So to uh, coming back. To okay, Mira. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tell, continue. Mira. Mira, I wanted to uh, share, you know, with the viewers, and you know, probably uh, everyone uh, knows that you know um, I'm the master of the ceremony, and um, but you know, for the first time, I'm talking about my PhD and my PhD topic, etc. So it's a great feeling. This is you know one of its kind. Uh, you know, this interview is one of its kind. So let me share that I hold a PhD in LGBT studies. and when That's i registered when i registered you know it was not talked about you know of course it was a hushed topic and if you you know took up a topic like this you were like oh my god there are so many topics in this world but why lgbt because i thought research usko kehte hai jis pe zyada kaam nahi hua hai because when you say you're going to transform lives you need to take up a topic that is not you know discussed which is you know kept That's which stuff. is kept clandestine within the covers of a book so i took up you know lesbians gays transgenders and you know people who are marginalized in the society in fact prostitution also i took up all the marginalized sections uh, you know of the society and my argument was that i wanted all these people to be included in the mainstream of the society so uh this this was one of the reasons why i took lgbt studies and talking to lgbt communities is also an art it is not easy to extract information from them so we personally went to red light areas we in the sense you know i had a team because you know you cannot go alone you have policemen with you etc when you you know interview them so that's why i'm using the pronoun we so i had you know police protection and everything but then i ensured that i spoke to them personally so i spoke to transgenders i spoke to prostitutes so because when i'm writing something in black and white you know i need to know the real conditions so which is why i uh, otherwise you know sociologists do it for literature yeah. you can do textual analysis it's not important to you know interview these people but then i wanted to do that so it was an interdisciplinary topic yeah uh, i guess uh, that is where you stand out i mean not stand out stand out <laughs> you make a mark for yourself mm -hmm. because when you write you write you add those uh, feelings that you, you know when you interview people you get their feelings also you interview their feelings also so you have you always add up uh, everything uh, together when you write you just don't write it uh, you know the you don't just connect with the language part you connect with the feelings part also of it so i guess that is why your writings always touch and there's a different aura to it to your writings you know to your Thank personality you so as such because you always try to you know pull people along with you you are not alone you always chalo chalo tumhe ye karna hai yes, i enjoy doing that <laughs> lot of authors you know work individually ki ye hamari kitab hai hum kaam karenge but then uh, i always you know bring up uh, collaborative books and as i said you know when um, i work on krishna or ram they were also yuga pravartaks of that era you know ram was a social reformer who empowered people lord krishna was a you know social reformer who empowered people and had he, had they lived in kali yug i'm sure they would have accepted everyone in the mainstream of the society they would not have accepted any kind of discrimination so um as i said you know collaborative effort always works because you know this is called democratic way of writing where you include people in your work and you know um and say that we have done this we have written this it's not i me mine it's not like that <laughs> true that okay so uh, coming back to our uh, session uh, so how uh, 
I mean, you are already a mentor. So the question that how will you mentor people doesn't, uh, you know, come to you. But still, how do you uh, normally teach your own students? Like supposing if you are given a mentorship, ki chalo, aaj ye sikhana ya ye topic pe sikhana or something. So do you, I mean, how well can you convert your art, uh, the art that you have, uh, onto you know uh, put them on your students like how well are you able to do that because as an artist i think the art does not just stay within you uh, you have to you know uh, pass it on to others also that Correct. way the art uh, never dies right the artist may die but the art never dies it lives art on, lives on. Yeah. yeah the art lives on through other people so how well do you think uh, you know as an artist are you doing the work of spreading your art to other people Okay, that's a very good question, Mira. I would say that, uh, you know, first of all, you should be able to catch the pulse of your students. It's very important to be a powerful speaker in order to be a good teacher. Because, you know, the students should be comfortable. They should be interested in the lecture. All right, because if you just give them grammar, grammar, grammar every day, vocabulary, vocabulary every day, it becomes like yet another school lecture dumped on you or yet another college, uh, you know, lecture dumped on you. Now, when you say that you conduct a skill development program like language learning or learning literature, learning nuances of the language, as I said, it's an art. Yeah. So I... Uh, teach them through role play role play is very important for me mira what i do is you know if uh, you know i have basic uh, uh, level students i have intermediate level students i have advanced level students so what i do is i give them a topic like you know uh, a becomes a doctor b becomes a patient and both of them interact with each other and then i tell them that this is where you're going wrong the tense is incorrect the vocabulary is not up to the mark then you know i give them another topic imagine we are in the flight now place an order call the air hostess place an order right in front of me so no one teaches practicals everyone is into theory Everyone is busy teaching the technical part, but the thing is practical application is not there. So which is what, you know, I'm interested in because I want to see that if, you know, they are students of discourses, they need to stand out your favorite, uh, you know, phrase out there, stand out, you need to stand out and you will stand out only when you apply what you know you're being taught when you apply in the outside world so it's very important to teach through role play so conversation in a mall conversation in a restaurant conversation in a flight at the airport conversation between a doctor and patient so i conduct practicals in the class even when it comes to public speaking okay. initially you know, no one is able to talk impromptu because uh, they are not spontaneous public speakers. But then I give them a day. Come on, come prepared with this topic and talk in front. I sit with the audience and I give them the podium. Come on, go and speak. So this enhances their confidence. And then, you know, they are also able to combat their stage fright because when it comes to public speaking, all right a lot of people develop cold feet on stage oh my god how will i talk in front of <laughs> so many people uh, and uh, and then probably the students hate me for that because the topics that i give them oh my god welcome speech and condolence speech and commemorative speech you know you need to do a lot of homework before you know actually uh, standing at the podium but then after taking up the course, after completing the course, you know, they bless me. Purnima, ma'am, you know, you managed to increase my confidence. Now I'm not scared while talking to strangers. So this is even oldies. It's an institute for all age groups. So even oldies come and tell me I was able to talk to the air hostess. I had absolutely no problems at the airport. So that makes me feel good. This is my certificate. Baki PhD rakho baju mein, usse farak nahi padta. Students se compliment mil gaya bahut hai. 
through that uh, it's basically you are teaching them uh, in practicality how to talk with everybody because as you said uh, jo knowledge hum books mein padhte hain wo different hota hai lekin jab practical application life mein aata hai to people should know how to do that and that is what basically you teach and you motivate others to do so the jaise ki anup bhaiya has said practical application must to be taught for day to day small successes uh, that is more important so anup bhaiya ne sum up kar diya do shabdon mein he said a knowledgeable teacher and good teacher are two different things lekin anup bhaiya yahan par hamari purnima di jo hai na wo knowledgeable teacher bhi hai aur good teacher bhi hai so for us it is one and the same thing <laughs> अब वो तो मेरे ख्याल से जो डिस्कोर्सेस ज्वाइन करेगा वही बता सकेगा इन लोगों को शायद वो पार्ट पता ही नहीं अच्छा बाय द वे नीरा अपार्ट फ्रॉम पब्लिक स्पीकिंग आई ऑफर अ ट्रेनिंग इन क्रिएटिव राइटिंग एंड प्रोफेशनल राइटिंग टेक्निकल राइटिंग आल्सो but okay. as i said you know if one needs to take up a course in creative writing it's it's very difficult because you know you write from within there is an inner urge that you know motivates you that prompts you that coaxes you cajoles you to write so that cannot be taught but yes um i personally feel that a a person who aspires to be a creative writer or a novelist or a poet can be trained in technical aspects for example poet needs to know the literary devices all right yeah. the figures of speech what is a couplet what is a what is terzarima what is uh, you know spenserian stanza what is chaucerian stanza what is rima royal what is a spenserian stanza so all this is very important you need to know the technique as well because mujhe bahut log bolte hain ki poetry to spontaneous hai creative writing spontaneous hai but aisa nahi hai it is like acting jis tarah se acting school mein ja ke aap pehle matlab technical training lete ho usi tarah se poet aur author ko bhi training leni chahiye you know especially when it comes to poetry prose ke liye main kahungi ki theek hai bhai matlab itni pareshani na uthaye but for poetry uh, you need to learn certain you know technicalities aur uh, viewers ne note kiya hoga uh, That, uh, पूर्णिमा दी ने जितने वर्ड्स uh, यूज किए हैं uh, बहुत भारी भरकम वर्ड्स इसीलिए हम इन्हें हमारे ग्रुप का शशि थारूर भी कहते हैं सो दिस इज द रीजन बाई वी कॉल यू शशि थारूर दर्ड्स बल्कि सो ये बल्कि वर्ड्स इनकी पीएचडी डिग्री की वजह से है तो ब्लेम अगर डालना है तो उस पर आप डाल सकते हैं सो so, <laughs> पूर्णिमा दी एंड i guess we are uh, coming to the uh, almost nearing to the end of the show so just let me uh, read a few uh, comments that are there so we uh, anup bhaiya has said deadly combination to wo jo tha aapka education acha and a good teacher wo deadly combination anup bhaiya is ah aapko unhone wapas gargi kaha hai that is his i guess favorite uh, उपमा हिंदी में कहता ना द फेवरेट उपमा उपमा ओके या ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट सिमिलीज एंड मेटाफर्स यस 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 करेक्ट ही हैज कॉल्ड इट शी इज अ गार्गी नो शशि थारू शी इज गार्गी उन्होंने आपको गार्गी कहा गार्गी थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच शशि थारू वगैरह से मुझे याद आया दैट हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट इज इट Uh, जैसे आपने कहा कि पोएट्री में यू नीड टू हैव यू नो अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ नॉलेज अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ पोएट्री दैट आर देयर द स्टैंड्स आर द राइम द लिमरिक्स एंड द एवरीथिंग ऑल दैट स्टफ बट देन हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट शुड बी द लेवल यू नो वो लेवल कैसे डिसाइड करते हैं बिकॉज योर रीडर मे और मे नॉट बी यू नो सो इतना उसको उतनी उसकी अच्छी इंग्लिश नहीं होगी शायद so how do we uh, as writers or you know as artists as you as a teacher how would you decide ki kaun si level par likhna hai hame because at the end uh, the motto is you know that the reader should be able to connect so what okay. level of uh, uh, language do you mira you think mira my dear while asking the question you answered it the reader should be able to connect, connect. so i think 
you know sometimes uh, when i read you know poetry on you know facebook walls or uh, on you know social media i personally feel it is a very high form ye bahut bada form hai isko social media tak simit na rakhe if you really want to you know maybe read it at a poetry show uh or write you know come up with anthologies maybe first start contributing to you know other people's anthologies you know before you know being a curator don't be a curator before you know like uh, being an established uh, poet so try and contribute to a few anthologies and see what the response is like you know people will give you the feedback as well and if the feedback comes from the right person take it seriously and if the feedback comes from an idiot please ignore all right because <laughs> all right because criticism is very important uh, in yes. any kind of art form criticism feedback or reviews pe duniya chalti hai you are a service provider now you are not you know a typical teacher or a typical you know poet author wherever you are you know you are a service provider because people feel that they are you know spending a very important resource in order to listen to you which is time second yeah. of all if they are buying your book in they are purchasing your book so if they see nonsense in it they will not you know uh, they will not purchase your second book yeah. all right yeah. so ensure ensure that you know your grammar is good uh, ensure that your vocabulary is good because the book or any kind of you know poetic work of art should you know be captivating it should have something different it should not be repetitive ghisa pita stereotyped hackneyed cliched nahi hona chahiye you need to give some even see a lot of people write on krishna but if everyone writes with a meera bhav if everyone writes with a radha bhav all right you know it it's it's going to get repetitive true so i know you have that bhakti in you you have the devotion in you but then as i said poetry is a very high form please do not you know take it with a grain of salt try and you know deal with different emotions so work on your emotions work on uh, your grammar and as i said the diction is very important in poetry the meter diction is very important if you're writing in 14 lines ensure it looks like a sonnet so yeah. be very clear whether it's a sonnet or a ballad or a lyric or an elegy if you are in you know, a mourning someone's loss lot of people wrote on lata ji when yeah. in after her demise lot of people wrote on lata ji so it's an elegy but yeah. then elegy cannot uh, be taken with a grain of salt you cannot just you know treat it like any other poem because the person is no more Yeah. it is being read posthumously the person is not there so it has to have a particular tone so you need to, as i said you need to learn the technique it's very important and it is not rhyming or versing that make it a poet adam yeah. delved and eve span who was then the gentleman it can't be like that you know simply rhyming otherwise ab jingles likhiye nursery rhymes likhiye poetry mat boliye usko but if it is poetry it has to have a lot of ras in it it has to have bhav in it it has to have a particular level of language in it only then we can call it poetry similarly your prose has to sound like you know a poetry mira your prose can sound like poetry also if it is you know if you read mrityunjay mrityunjay is something that you know all the um, uh, literary artists you know should read it's in marathi but it's been translated in uh, multiple languages so you will actually get to know what you know poetic prose is all about so it's like you have to work a lot aisa hi ek do kitabe padh ke hum author ban gaye hum likhne lag gaye doesn't work that way it requires a lot of homework <laughs> that i agree bahut homework ki zarurat hoti hai bahut research karna padta hai tab ja kar hum kuch do akshar likh pate hain so okay. yes i agree to that and uh, yahan par we have maithri joshi uh, she is saying that i agree people from all walks of life need to be fluent in english and that's really the need of the art i agree with that because i have seen sometimes people using <clears throat> even in Horrendous a language. No, mm -hmm. yes they use that whatsapp ka shortcut language 
uh, everywhere. Like, I mean, that is the worst part. I mean, even in uh, the regular, you know, uh, poetry submissions also sometimes you have. Us may be that uh, language is there. Please, when when you're submitting poems uh, or something, how can you use that WhatsApp language? You know, uh, raw and flag. raw. It's it's a red flag, and moreover, Mira, um, I won't name anybody, but then I keep getting a lot of submissions because I've been curating a lot of anthologies with Sanu yeah. Bhaiya. So obviously, you know, some works are so amateurish. I mean, but they are most of them are established also, and I know what I'm saying. I'm not going to name anybody here, but I'm just I'm just making an endeavor to tell you that writing anything in black and white is great responsibility. So when you submit, you know, your work of art, you need to be very careful about you know the use of language, the formatting. the way you send the text all right and everything because it speaks about your art it speaks about your personality so anup bhaiya one must punctuation yes anup bhaiya is pointing out ki mera punctuations to anup bhaiya punctuations are important i know that i miss them often in my hindi writings isliye shayad anup bhaiya point out kare mera punctuations are needed <laughs> Correct. <laughs> punctuations are a perpetual problem, my dear. And I end up taking ten sessions on punctuation because मैं एक बात बता दूँ ये शो लंबा हो तो लो हो कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता लेकिन मैं viewers को ये जरूर बताना चाहती हूँ कि colon, semicolon, parentheses, inverted commas, single inverted commas, double inverted commas ये कहाँ use करना है ये सीखना ही होगा if you want to be a writer. <laughs> In yes. fact, even if you want to be a typist, forget about being a writer. Typist be ban rahe ho, so apko ye sab seekna bahut zaruri hai. Mere hisab se. But I agree to that. Uh, uh, Puni Madhi, mm -hmm. I've always seen that you, Anu Bhaiya ki jo Hindi poems hai, you translate them to English and you do that absolutely fantabulously uh, in a very good manner. And the same uh, jo bhav hota hai na Hindi poems ka. जो रस होता है अनु भैया के हिंदी पोएम्स का द सेम थिंग आई कैन व्हेन आई रीड बोथ द पोएम्स साइमेंटेनियसली और साइड बाय साइड आई फाइंड द सेम थिंग दैट गोस इन बोथ ऑफ देम सो हाउ डू यू मेंटेन दैट यू नो द लैंग्वेज जो हिंदी से इंग्लिश आती है बिकॉज आजकल आई हैव सीन पीपल यूज गूगल ट्रांसलेट एंड दैट इज एब्सोल्युटली आई मीन अ बिग नो नो बिकॉज दैट यू नो दैट डज नॉट forget the grammar part wo uska kabhi sahi hota hi nahi hai but uh, the meanings the words everything changes so how difficult is it or how easy i might put is it to translate from one language to another respectfully that is to you know putting <laughs> everything together uh, you know wo yeah. language bhi demean nahi kar rahe hain hum hum to sirf aur zyada audience ko wo pahunche work so we just trans we use translations for the same reason so how difficult or how easy it is to do that all right and as i said again once again mira your questions are brilliant I never expected, you know, anybody to ask me that question. But you know, as I said, you know, it's a brilliant question, and I'm going to, you know, uh, give you a convincing answer for this. First of all, you know, Anup Bhaiya and I work together. We write in collaboration. Or yes. a secret, my viewers, ko bata do ki meri Angrezi unko uh, difficult lagti hai aur unki Hindi mujhe difficult lagti hai. So it's like, you know, <laughs> but we work it together. And uh, what connects the two of us is, you know, the emotion involved and the dedication involved, you know, towards literature. He is head over heels, you know. He loves. He absolutely loves Hindi literature and absolutely love English literature. एंड सो ये जो है ट्रांसलेशन करते समय आपको पहले उस लिटरेचर से प्यार होना बहुत जरूरी है अदरवाइज इट विल बिकम अ टेक्निकल एक्सरसाइज कि भाई कोई ट्रांसलेट uh, करना है कोई मतलब पोएट्री uh, उठाए और उसका कुछ ट्रांसलिटरेशन कर दिया जैसे गूगल ट्रांसलिटरेट yeah, करता exactly. है now i keep telling you know my students and i'm i'm sharing this you know i'm giving you a very very honest opinion on this when you translate you cannot uh, you know translate things literally okay kuch shabd hindi ke aise honge uska english equivalent hi nahi hai kuch angrezi mein aisa shabd hoga jiska equivalent hai hi nahi lekin agar aapne wo poetry samjhi hai if you have understood you know that work of art 
what you will give to the world is trans creation it doesn't become translation anymore in fact i keep telling uh, the viewers i don't translate anup bhaiya's poems i trans create them so in a way i do ensure that the originality is not lost and at the same time i ensure that the work has not been translated literally कि किसी को ये ना लगे कि ट्रांसलेशन में अगर मैं कोई फॉरेनर पढ़े तो उसको ये ना लगे ये कैसी पोएम है अजीब सी इट्स एब्सर्ड ऐसा ना लगे सो इट बिकम्स अ डिफरेंट ट्रांस क्रिएशन बिकम्स अ डिफरेंट वर्क ऑल टूगेदर सो यू नीड टू एंश्योर दैट यू आर नॉट ट्रांसलेटिंग वर्ड टू वर्ड बट द मीनिंग इज गेटिंग ट्रांस क्रिएटेड सो इट्स मोर अबाउट द मीनिंग एंड इट्स मोर अबाउट द लव फॉर लिटरेचर rather than you know technically translating yeah, that things that's why my question was because i have seen that uh, translations uh, sometimes uh, many uh, uh, works that we had uh, when they were translated from vernacular indian languages to english uh, i i really like when i was studying the originality it, was lost <laughs> originality was lost and i just never could connect with those english writings maybe if i would uh, you know if i had that uh, you know maybe if i knew the languages and i would have read the original works i would have you know connected with it but when i read their english translations i was not able to connect because there was no feelings in those uh, translations correct now see i'll give you an example meera uh, the original ramayan was written by saint sage valmiki everyone knows that valmiki ramayan is original lekin ab aisa nahi bol sakte na ki people have not translated ramayan because it is a very important you know spiritual text ramayan and mahabharat the two scriptures have been translated in multiple languages but then what tulsidas ji gives you and what kamban gives you you know makes it 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 turns you know we call it trans creation so tulsidas yeah. did you know his primary source was valmiki ramayan of course yeah. and he ensured that the originality is not uh, you know insulted he retained yeah. the originality he narrated the story of ram but then it became his own Shri yeah. Ram Charit Manas is a trans creation of uh, Valmiki Ramayana. Similarly, Kamban in Tamil, we have yeah. we had a poet called Kamban. All right, yeah. he trans created Valmiki Ramayana in Tamil. Yeah. So the work became it. So Ram Charit Manas became Tulsi Das Ji's work. Kamban yeah. Ramayan became Kamban's <laughs> work. So, किसी ने उनको ये नहीं बोला कि भाई आपने, of course, uh, in that era they had to face criticism also because uh, you know uh, uh, they were uh, kind of fiddling with a classical language like Sanskrit. The priests absolutely did not appreciate when they tried to transcreate it. But then, as I said earlier. true poetry ultimately connects with people so it became popular people loved the accessibility people yeah. loved the way the text was approached and in fact valmiki ramayan also became accessible because of uh, the regional trans creation so language is basically be it english hindi or any we have i mean india is blessed with more than 100 languages and Absolutely. so many uh, you know vernacular languages that we have and each state has maybe 10 of you know dialects in that so i guess we are blessed uh, to have so many languages so each and every language is important so when you are translating or transcribe by transcribing or as you said transversing it nay what was the word that transcreating it transcreating it yes so i guess this is the new favorite word of mine transcreating <laughs> so when you are doing yeah. that wo uske jo bhav hai jo ras hai jo likhne ka uh, original writer ka wo saath mein lekar hum rakhte hain when we are bilkul शिफ्टिंग इट टू अनदर लैंग्वेज सो दैट एंड वो लैंग्वेज फिर कितनी एक्सेसिबल हो जाती है इजी हो जाता है फॉर द व्यूअर्स टू रीच यू कैन रीच सो मेनी व्यूअर्स एट अ टाइम वेन यू आर चेंजिंग शिफ्टिंग द लैंग्वेजेस बट इन अ वेरी इंटेलिजेंट मैनर कहते हैं ना नकल करने में भी अकल चाहिए सो वेन यू आर डूइंग दैट यू डू दैट विथ लॉट्स ऑफ अकल सो राइटली सेड ओवर हेयर and we have a few more comments uh, ranima is saying absolutely bang on answers to the beautiful designed questions congratulations to both of you 
thank you so much ranima that you took out the time to come oh, today and to bless both of us i mean punima di aapki beti hai but aapne mujhe bhi bless kiya so thank you so much for coming and joining mm-hmm. Oh, oh, she is a Bharat Mata. My mother is a Bharat Mata. She blesses everybody. Mere comments ho na ho, sabke posts pe unke comments hote hi hai. You know, she blesses. She blesses everybody. Thank you for that. अनुप भैया इज सेंग दैट एक्चुअली ट्रांसलेशन तो मैं ही करके देता हूँ वो इमोशनल वो भाव तक जब तक आप ना पहचानोगे तो ट्रांसलेशन इफेक्टिव होगा तो अनुप भैया आप भी क्रेडिट ले रहे हैं वो आप बाद में डील कर लेना उनसे ठीक है चलेगा चलेगा वैसे भी मतलब वैसे भी हम दोनों के झगड़े भी बहुत होते रहते हैं बट झगड़ा वो झगड़े का क्वालिटी कुछ वो लेवल कुछ अलग होते हैं आई गेस विद दैट आई एम फिनिश विद ऑल द क्वेश्चन एंड यू हैव बीन वेरी इन्फॉर्मेटिव टूडे uh you i can say that you have been a real good mentor today to all our viewers who are watching live with us and who may later on you know watch the uh, recording proceedings so thank you so much <laughs> yes मेरा, आई थिंक यू नो एक क्वेश्चन आपने मुझे ये शो शुरू होने से पहले पूछा था कि इम्प्रूवमेंट करना जरूरी है या नहीं हम वो अलविदा करने से पहले इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू आंसर दैट क्वेश्चन आई थिंक बिकॉज यू आस्ट मी यू नो लाइक इन एडवांस ये ये क्या है इम्प्रूव करना जरूरी है इम्प्रूव करना मैं तो हमेशा व्यूअर्स को ये एडवाइस दूंगी बी अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट never call yourself a teacher never call yourself an established author bahut log kehte hain main public figure hu main author hu aisa nahi hai you know aapke attitude mein bhale aap khud ko author bulaye ya a professor bulaye ya kuch bhi bulaye but you have to be a student of the subject all your life and ensure that you keep learning because even while teaching you are going to learn while writing you are going to learn लर्निंग छोड़नी नहीं है एक बार आ, आपने खुद को कन्विंस कर लिया कि मैं ऑथर हूं मैं प्रोफेसर हूं तो वो वो क्या होता है यू विल यूज यू विल लूज योर ह्यूमिलिटी बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली पीपल शुड नो यू फॉर वॉट यू आर यू शुड बी अप्रोचेबल अनटेंटेड अन अलॉयड डाउन टू अर्थ एंड हम्बल कितने भी अचीवमेंट्स आपके पास में हो लेकिन आपको ग्राउंडेड होना बहुत जरूरी है और वो ग्राउंडेड आप तभी बनेंगे जब आप स्टूडेंट बन के रहेंगे सो दिस इज माई यू नो लाइक मैसेज मैसेज टू द व्यूअर्स बी अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट ऑल योर लाइफ स्टूडेंट ऑफ लाइफ ऑल्सो बिकॉज हमें रोज कुछ ना कुछ सीखना ही होता है बिल्कुल बिल्कुल एक गाना भी था शायद जीवन एक lesson something i am very forgetful so let us not go to the songs <laughs> yes <laughs> we need to keep on learning about life uh, and life teaches you lessons same way agar aap kisi bhi art mein form mein ho to you can never be a master of the art but art is your master so you have to yes. keep on studying the art because every day the art keeps on in you know uh, evolving Uh, there is no art that uh, that was the same you know when it started it was something else today it is something else so art itself when it is evolving you cannot be you know uh, stagnant in one place you need to evolve even as an artist so i guess so uh, you said that you need to learn along every day so that in is fact true. meena in fact mm. meera i had this beautiful lesson uh, in school written by vijay merchant the former cricketer and uh, you know he said cricket cricket has given me my my name my fame and everything so i am here because of cricket cricket doesn't exist because of me so that really you know struck me hard in fact sachin tendulkar also said the same thing you know in one of his interviews main yeah. man of the match kitne bhi baar trophies jeet lu but then i am here because of the game i am here because of cricket cricket yes. doesn't live because it cricket doesn't survive on me so this is what we all as artists we all need to you know emulate their example read a lot of biographies and autobiographies don't look at the destination look at the journey of these you know accomplished personalities look at their journey don't look at the destination and then uh, you know accordingly you will strive hard yes truly and aptly said so and uh, this is the basis of our show art connect where we want the art 
you know not the artist to be known but the art to be known art to you, be known yes it is the art that will live on and on and artists to kya hai aate jayenge jaate jayenge but art to hai hum hum sab impermanent hai hum sab permanent hum koi permanent nahi hai we are all impermanent and transient <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with that uh, i'll just take a few more uh, comments that have come and uh, rani di uh, ni uh, maitri ji she is saying uh, good job meera and amazing answers purnima wonderful session and we have uh, raj Kum raj kamal de he says uh, we should always be a student yes uh, that is true we should always be students because life is uh, a lesson that we keep on learning Uh, it is always like you know repeat mode par hai uh, life se khati jati hai kuch na kuch naya hardam so yes bilkul uh, uh, we have nisha saxena ji who has joined us and anup bhaiya ki comments to ruki nahi rahi hai <laughs> <laughs> mere khayal se a- aapka interview hone ke baad mein mere mera aur ek interview hone wala <laughs> uh, i think so because unke uh, comments are like uh, mera uh, hmm. nice start mera but smile more you are in mumbai मुस्कुराइए यू आर इन आप यू आर नॉट इन साउथ बॉम्बे मीरा यू आर नॉट इन साउथ बॉम्बे दैट्स व्हाई यू आर नॉट स्माइलिंग इनफ अच्छा अब हिंदी में कुछ उन्होंने लिखा है मीरा सड्डे नाल आ जाओ तो ओ गॉड अनु भैया फॉर दैट आई हैव टू शिफ्ट टू साउथ बॉम्बे आई एम नॉट रेडी फॉर द शिफ्ट आई एम हैप्पी वेयर आई एम यू आर हैप्पी वेयर यू आर यस सो विद दैट uh and we have maitri ji again saying yes agree again biographies and autobiographies i too want to read more and more so yes uh, good uh, i guess good readers the best readers make good writers i would just put it yes, in that yes that is true it's a very it's a wonderful statement mira the more unless, you read uh, yeah uh, unless you read knowledge. you can't write yes, yes. Mm-hmm. So you can't write with conviction people. yeah yeah <laughs> so with that we have i guess we are coming to the end of the show and uh, here i was meera bansali and dr purnima trivedi on our talk show uh, art connect on the uh, on neelam saxena page so uh, viewers i would really like the viewers to pass on this uh, video to everybody for aspiring writers for people who aspire to be you know uh, masters of english literature that is the term that we are going to use right now because obviously that is a degree that may require so please do pass on the good word and thank you so much to our lovely viewers for joining in today And thank you so much you. all the viewers thank you so much gratitude to you and meera thanks to you for you know being such a wonderful host and for asking you know such brilliant questions and hard hitting questions you know some some of them you know were like oh i never thought about it so you know congratulations also this was your first show attention. this was your first show and you've been brilliant absolutely fabulous Thank you and so thanks much. to Neelam Saxena Di, yes. you know she's been she's been such a motivator, a wonderful encourager, and uh, also an inimitable change maker. She's yes. been able to, you know, like she's she's changed so many lives. <laughs> She has in fact inspired me and pushed me for this show. And uh, gratitude to her uh, and to you, of course. And बहुत सारे लोग हैं इस पर all the admins. Uh, truly, truly thankful to all of them because they really inspired. So thank you to all of y'all for inspiring me for the show. And yes, this is going to be a monthly show for now. So please do keep on connecting with us on Art Connect on Neelam Saxena page. And thank you so much, everybody. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everyone. <laughs>